The last time Belfry and Corbin met on the football field was August of 2007, a game the Pirates won 21 nothing. However, to find the last time the two programs met in the playoffs, you have to go all the way back to 1969. That game won by Corbin 6 to nothing. Number two, Belfry, number eight, Corbin, seven combined state titles between the two programs. First drive for Belfry, the option pitch goes to Cameron Catron, carries the rock all the way down inside the Corbin 20, down to the 12 yard line. Zandre Willis would run it in on the next play, seven nothing. Corbin putting together a solid drive to answer. Tucker Jewell on the sweep, picks up a red hound first down. A Couple of plays later on third and long, Jonah French with the handoff. He picks up about 18, good enough for another Corbin first down. And then they go to the air. Cameron Sizemore across the middle to Moore, give him 16 yards and a touchdown. And then we go to the second quarter, tied at seven. Derek Wellman right up the gut for another Belfry score. We go to the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic scoreboard. Number two, Belfry got rolling, did not stop. Pirates going back to Bowling Green for a sixth straight year. 42-14 over Corbin. So who would Belfry play? Lexington Catholic on the road at E-Town. Panthers undefeated. Scoreless game in the first. E-Town driving. Jack Wilson going deep. Kevin Brown goes up and gets it. It's an interception for Lex Cat. In the second, Andy Thompson lets it go in the rain. 36-yard pass hauled in the back of the end zone by J.J. Ogaboo. Good for the touchdown. 7-0 Knights. E-Town had the equalizer, though. Bernal Cecil. Finds the seam, goes 46 yards, untouched for the score. We're tied at seven. Then just before halftime, Lexington Catholic on the five-yard line. Jalen Jones punches it in. Jones with 139 yards, two touchdowns, and the Knights get Belfry next week in the Class 3A state finals. Lexington Catholic hands E-Town its first loss of the season, 35-14, the final score.